Welcome back. Hey, hey. We are on Sevastopol Station. Another episode of Alien Isolation. Thank you for joining me today. If you're enjoying the videos, let me know. Commenting, telling me, hey. Not bad, drum blanket. Or be like, dude. You suck at life. Whatever you want to say, I welcome it. What do you got going on over here? Is there help in here? I'm supposed to be looking for help. Uh, out of one suit and into my regular clothes. Alrighty. Restoration points to save your progress. Yes, yes, let's do that. Start off the episode by saving the game. Uh, yes, we're going to overwrite that. And... Where do we go? What do we do? It's dark in here. Hard to see. Uh... Darker in here, hard to see. Huh. Okay, alright. So I just learned how to, uh, how to sprint and how to duck. Let's see here. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to go that way. Uh, is it not letting me through? No. Whoa. Something in here, though. Oh, using little crawl spaces. Anything could go wrong in here, too. Man, that... That alone, like, because I... Obviously, we're aware there's an alien somewhere loose. Um... And I know that they aren't going to just get me with him right away, but still, like, being inside of that, like, your anxiety goes up a little bit. Alright, we're around. We're around the fire pit of hell. Um. Let's see what's this way first. What was that? Collect ethanol. Okay. Uh, find blueprints so you craft items for the components you pick up. Alright, what's what do we got here? Should I keep reading all the terminals? Sevastolink. Folder corrupted. Uh, so, boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contacts and next placement. But for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. But it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Waits. Chief. Which we just heard from Waits a little bit ago. Uh, he was the one that responded during that movie. And by movie, I mean full motion video that we just watched a second ago. Alrighty. Let's... The last episode. Oh, God. Why? No! Was not expecting this. Holy cow. <laughs> Bitch, you okay? I hope you're okay, bitch. God damn. Grab this here flare. Let's move our ass. Let's duck a little. Uh, open the radio and use L to select items and then just use this to activate. Now we can see. I remember, right? We go through here. Someone you always know. I uh, don't know what that says. Alright, let's get a move on. 
Let's get a move on. In one, out the other. Here we are. We've made it. We made it somewhere. Somewhere dark. Uh, let's go ahead and take all. I'm sure, it's there for a reason. And where can we go now? Maybe somewhere we can go. It's not the only place we're going here, is it? Is it? That's all we got. Nothing up here. Can't go over here. That's a big fat no, sir. So, in my opinion, uh, Alien, the very first Alien, best sci-fi horror flick ever, and the first of its kind. Man, really, there was nothing back here for me? That seems strange. Oh, here we go. We got over here. Someone you always know knew a working Joe. Strangers will be shot. Damn, son. Keep moving. Um, up. Up. Looks like we're going up. This is good. There's light up here. I like the light. A little bit less uh, foreboding in there. Or up here. God, down there was... Whew. It's because you know, never know what's going to go wrong. Shut off the radio, please. Can't stand the radio. And look at this radio, by the way. Uh, definitely. <laughs> I love it, man. Um, as a cassette player. <laughs> it's beautiful. Cassettes will never be obsolete. Um, she didn't say that very loud at all, did she? Hello? Anyone here? It is strange, though. This is supposed to be a space station, which would mean that it would be booming with life. And it is not. It's term use these terminals to update your map with unexplored areas. Use touchpad button to open the map. Alrighty. Use, please, use. There we go. There we are. Do it again. Oh, one more time. Yeah, hey. It's a generator up. Should lights turn on? Let's take a look at this. What do we got in here? Langley, if you're looking for our stash, we've, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus. Do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry. No one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of your stuff in the future. Uh, 0340. Remember that for me. Uh, let's see here. We've had a long journey together, but sadly, it's coming to an end. Siegson Corps would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Se Sevastopol over the years and hopes that Siegson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Siegson's Apollo Central, AI, and Working Joe Androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Uh, let's see here. Harris, Turner, get... So, during the course of me doing this episode, I realized that my goddamn cat, or a goddamn cat, is here in the studio with me, you little motherfucker. And he's noisy. So if he's been, been meowing in the background, 
I apologize. I was going to wait until the end of the episode to get him out of here, but he interjected there and I heard him and, well, now you know. Cat, what are you doing in here? How many fucking times do I have to fucking tell you to stay out of this fucking studio? How many fucking times, cat?